Welcome back to AP YouTube. As many of you know, I am a huge Back to the Future fan. Ever since I saw the films as a kid, I've been obsessed with all things BTTF. In today's unboxing, I will be checking out three commemorative prop items from the film. Let's get to it. First up we have a limited edition, commemorative silver coin. Limited to only 9,995 pieces worldwide. This coin is individually numbered and has embossing on both sides. One side of the coin depicts the flux capacitor, while the other shows the infamous clock tower. The detailing on both sides is well done, with a clean emboss, and quotes from the film surrounding the design. The coin itself comes inside of a plastic protective case which makes for easy display. Up next, we have the silver-plated, limited edition, Enchantment Under the Sea Dance, commemorative ticket. That was a mouthful. This piece is limited to 5,000 worldwide and comes inside a nice display box. The ticket itself is silver-plated, and made from a very solid metal material. You may remember the dance playing a huge part in both the first and second films, where Marty has to make sure his parents fall in love, at this exact dance, or his future may have never been written. The front of the ticket has various details about the event, and the same design that was used in the film. This piece is very well made, the silver color really shines and pops, and makes for a wonderful display piece for any BTTF fan. Finally, we have this neat Biff Tannen's, Pleasure Paradise, box set. If you remember from the film, in the alternate 1985 where Biff has made a fortune from betting with the sports almanac. He is now the most powerful man in Hill Valley, he has his own casino, with this set containing items from that establishment. The box is a nice thick material with Biff's Pleasure Paradise logo on the front. Inside we have 4 items, 1 pack of playing cards, along with 3 casino chip coins. All three of these pieces are great additions to any Back to the Future collection. Each represents pivotal moments in the film, with the enchantment under the sea dance, Biff taking over Hill Valley in the alternate 1985, and the coin depicting key elements from the movies as well. What is your favorite moment from the trilogy? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you have enjoyed this AP unboxing and I look forward to seeing you all again, sometime, in the future.